Good evening, I'm Rondi Guest, and this is my audience. Thank you. According to the Guttmacher Institute, there has been over 50 million abortions take place in the United States since 1973. The 180 movie has called it an American Holocaust as it equates it to the Jewish Holocaust that took place in, in World War II. I'm not an expert on abortion, but I am a Christian man who is passionate about life and believes that all life is unique and valuable. And after doing extensive research and becoming familiar with the truth, I know that all life begins at the point of conception. And any measure to terminate a pregnancy is immoral and wrong. Abortion needs to end in the United States and around the world. And one of the best things that we can do as a people to end this cause is by knowing the truth that a pregnancy at any stage is a human life developing in the mother's womb. Hopefully by the end of this speech, you will be able to make an informed choice to choose life by knowing and believing that number one, all life begins at the point of conception, and number two, all life is sacred and valuable and deserves to be protected. Now the very first thing that needs to be realized uh, by all people before there's a heart change toward making an end to abortion, is that we need to understand that life begins at the point of conception. Now, Planned Parenthood is an organization that absolutely disagrees with this. As a matter of fact, they state that most medical authorities and Planned Parenthood believe that it starts when a baby takes its first breath. Now, that's hard for me to accept and believe because I don't think that most medical authorities believe that. I'm very disturbed by this, by this statement because according to them, a baby is not really a baby inside the womb. It doesn't matter that you can take vital signs, that you can take videos and photos of this baby. It doesn't matter that you can take, uh, listen to the heartbeat inside or feel that it moving it around inside of a mother's womb. None of that matters. To them, it is only a baby when it takes its first breath. Now I would have to disagree with their stance. I have four kids. And out of all four of my kids, all four of them were born premature. And at least two of them needed help breathing when they were born. That didn't make them any less of being a baby, whether inside the womb or outside the womb. Well, how do we know that it's a baby inside of a mother's womb then? Can it solely be based on personal preference or perception? Obviously not. What is the law state of the, that a baby uh, is when it, becoming a person? In an article found in the Huffington Post, a law passed in Missouri in 2010, State Bill number 793 answers the question, at what point do babies become human? This is a Democratic governor who signed this in the law. His name was Jay Nixon. And this law stated that the life of each human being begins at conception. And it is, continues to state that abortion will terminate the life of a separate, unique, living human being. Now this is the second state to enact a law like this, and hopefully there'll be many states to enact this law later in the future. Some of y'all may remember a gentleman by the name of Scott Peterson. In 2004, he was convicted of two murders. One of his wife, the second one of his unborn child, Connor. <clears throat> now, if they can convict a man uh, of murder, based on a baby that's still inside the mother's womb, it must mean that baby is a living, breathing human person and deserving to be protected. Well, who else believes that life begins at conception? I think it's safe to say that wildlife authorities believe that life begins at the point of conception. I love going to the beach. That's one of my favorite things to do. And when, sometimes when I go to the beach, I get out there and I see these areas that are roped off. And inside those areas, are a uh, sea turtle nest. Now there's no sea turtles actually found in those nests. What's found in those nests are sea turtle eggs. Why do you think they have these eggs roped off? Because there are laws protecting the unborn young found in those eggs. And there are literally hundreds of birds that are protected by the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. This act decrees that all migratory birds and their parts, including their feathers, their nests, and their eggs are fully protected. Why are the eggs of these animals protected? Because life begins at conception. And those eggs may contain the life of an animal that needs and deserves protection. And this is just a small sample of all the animals that are protected in our world. 
When a human egg or ovum reaches the point of conception, it begins a new life. I cannot think of anything in the world that deserves greater protection than the life of a child inside the mother's womb. It is a sad state of affairs when there are more laws protecting the life of animals than there are the life of a person. Just look at all the movements to protect animal life in our society and the vast numbers of people that support those movements. That brings me to my second point. Human life is valuable, unique, and sacred and deserves to be protected above everything else in this world. One of the greatest failures that man has availed in degrading human life is to bring it down to the point of nothing but a clump of cells. One time I was sharing the gospel with this young lady and I was telling her how much God cares for his creatures that he makes, his animals. But, and then I told her, I said, you know, but God cares so much more for people. And equating that with her, I, I asked her, don't you think that, that you know, people really should be uh, more important than animal life? To my surprise, she did not agree with me. I was saddened, I was shocked. That is how people view human life in our society nowadays. Human life is no more important than animals and sometimes even less important than animals. However, the United States Declaration of Independence states, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Personally, I think these rights are written for all people, including the unborn. When a pregnancy is terminated, all these rights are stripped from the unborn, especially the right to life. I've heard it said, it's my body and I can do what I want with it. Well, it is only your body because your parents loved you, they cared about you, and they brought you into the world and they, took, and they, they wanted to protect you. That's why it's your body. I've also been told that I brought you into this world and I sure can, can take you out, right? Well, that's true. The Centers for Disease Control reports over one million people die every year from heart disease and cancer, and abortion trumps those numbers every single year. One of the saddest things I heard recently was regarding uh, the largest organization that assists in protecting women's lives through breast cancer research every year. They contribute millions of dollars to Planned Parenthood. And it just surprised me that how can an organization that cares for the protection of life contribute to an organization that actively destroys life on a continual basis? People simply do not value human life in our world. Instead of acknowledging the existence of life in the womb, people deny the truth so it can benefit their desires. We need to choose life and support those that support life among us. We must be the voice to protect all human life in and out of the womb. In conclusion, please take some time to research the truth. Most people base their decisions on political correctness or the popular view in society, not necessarily the truth. Remember first that life begins at the point of conception and second that all human life is valuable, even more so than animal life and deserves to be fully protected. Abortion needs to end now. No matter what side of the issues you stand, come to understand the truth about unborn children and make an informed, intelligent choice to choose and promote life and help save those that can't save themselves. Most likely, your parents chose life. That's why you're here today. And if you still have that opportunity, some of you might not, but if you do have that opportunity, why don't you let them know how much you appreciate that they chose life and to bring you in the world to love you and protect you and keep you safe because of their choice. Thank you and God bless.